are joined by NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, two-time commander of the International Space Station. Peggy, thank you so much for talking with us. Now, you've got a nickname of the Space Ninja. How did you get that nickname? Well, my crewmate, Jack Fisher, he's got names for everything. <laughs> And uh, he's the one that decided I w should be called the Space Ninja. He loved it when the ground started calling me the Space Ninja, too. <laughs> so. You grew up in a rural, rural community, and you're very into gardening. Do you want to tell us why that's so important to you? Well, growing up on the farm, uh, my mom had a, a huge garden. We had potatoes and onions and tomatoes, corn. So I've always had an appreciation for growing things. And I actually think that was what got also piqued my interest in growing cell cultures because to me it was growing something. So it uh, always got me interested in the, those sciences. Well, how about we do a little bit of classroom gardening here? Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, so we've got a really simple setup here. It's just a, a Ziploc bag and some bean seeds and then paper towels. And this is something that you can easily do in your classroom. So what we do is, and I'll let you have the honors here, we're just gonna sure wet the paper towel a little bit. And um, so you wet the paper towels, you um, then add a couple of bean seeds into the bag so that you can see them grow and it allows you to be able to see the roots as they grow. And then you just hang these in your classroom either on a window or on a cabinet that faces the sun. And what's really cool about this is you can see that progression, especially if you plant beans at different times. If you see over here, over here? we've got one that's been growing for just a few days and then one that's been growing for a little bit more than a week. And you can see the difference in how much they've grown and that the roots are you know, reaching down. Peggy, when you were in space, you got to see a little bit of that, didn't you? Yeah, what's really neat is the, the roots actually reach for the ground because they're gravitropic. So that means they are attack, attracted to gravity. So they head down to the bottom. And then the leaves actually are attracted to light. And so they're heading up for the sun. And that's what gives us this contrast. So if you turn the seedling around after it gets started growing, you'll see some interesting behavior. Everything is going to start turning, you know, it's going to turn and go the other direction. So it's, it's a really neat experiment to do because you can really understand how gravity is causing the roots to go down and how light causes the leaves to go up. In space, though, we don't have gravity. And so we end up growing plants in what we call these little pillow compartments mm -hmm. because we just, they, the roots will just form a big ball. Uh, and the, the, the leaves will still grow toward the light. They're phototropic, they grow toward the light. But once they hit the top of the container, they just turned around and came back down. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was really interesting to see the differences uh, from growing things here on Earth and growing things up in space. You grew plants on the International Space Station. Psychologically, how important is it to have those plants there? Well, for me, there's a huge psychological benefit because I like taking care of them and growing them, seeing how they're changing from day to day. But I think even the guys that aren't as interested in maybe growing them themselves really enjoy just seeing the green. Um, it, it, you know, seeing life, I think, is a lot of fun. But another huge advantage on board the space station is that every other harvest on our cabbage and our lettuce, we got to eat it. So half of it was for science, <laughs> half of it was for us to have a, a really good snack. Was it good? Absolutely. It was the best, best lettuce I've ever had. So you can try this in your classroom and become a classroom gardening ninja.